Well, welcome everyone. Glad to see you. This is Father Marshall Shelley. I am not coming to you from 505 Main Street. I'm actually coming to you from the rectory where my wife Laura and I live as I record this vlog update for you. The reason for that is that I was at the uh, Diocesan Cathedral in Trenton today for uh, a clergy day a gathering, which leads me to the word of the week. And I will tell you that in a moment. However, I just want to give thanks for all the hard work that went into gathering us. As you all know, it has been a long time since we've been able to gather with intention in larger groups because of the pandemic and because of the challenges of work and witness in these pandemic days. Now, as we move into endemic, as we all get used to being able to gather again, uh, our committee that is, an, that is overseeing how the clericus, that is all of the deacons and priests in our bishop get together in the diocese assembled. This was the first of a really renewed effort to make sure we had that sense of fellowship. So very grateful for that. The Reverend Susanna Cates, who is the rector of uh, All Saints and Wachung, is the one who really brought that home for us, and we really appreciate her efforts, as well as our own Bishop Chip, Chip Stokes, who officiated and also gave a meditation at the, uh, at the uh, opening worship service for us. So here is my word, and the word is one that you may not be familiar with because it doesn't really work its way into the regular world, but it's really important for those of us who walk with the church as those who have been set in uh, the role of ordination, and that is clericus, that sense of the, the body of the clergy gathering together in consultation with each other and fellowship with each other and support of each other. And I want to really highlight that, even, and I'm not even going to talk about the fact that there are these words like clericalism um, or anti-clericalism or all those kinds of other things. This is not about any sense of elite gathering. This is really a gathering of the servant leadership of the kingdom of God here in this plane, here in this planet. And uh, I want to share with you a story about that. When I was first getting uh, considered, when I was going through discernment for ordained ministry, I was assigned a mentor by my diocese in southern Ohio. And his name was the Reverend Bill Lyle. And he was the rector of this little church up the road from where I grew up in a little town called Nelsonville, Ohio. And uh, he was this remarkable guy who had marched at Selma. He had come up through some of the greatest civil unrest of the last century in the 1960s and early 70s. He had been active in Cleveland, particularly in the inner city, uh, working with people of all different colors and, uh, and class and age, trying to build bridges between generations. He'd been on the front lines of some of the great work uh, that went into a whole generation's worth of clergy trying to do their best as members of society to forge social justice. And so he had the bona fides for that, but he was also retired. So he was sort of on a, on a second lap around the track, if you will, in taking this small parish on. And he wound up with me, a 23-year-old kid out of college who was trying to figure out what God was asking of him. And so no small part of our gathering were, were these supervisory sessions, which entailed us gathering uh, once every week on Wednesday morning at the local Bob Evans restaurant, sitting at the same table with the same waitress having coffee and breakfast and he would ask me the same question every single time why would you waste a perfectly good baptism on ordination to the priesthood and i had to answer that this every that same question over the same cup of coffee with the same waitress giving it at the same table and the same bob evans every week for a little over a year and it took me a long time to find the answer and the answer was i can't not i cannot not do this. This is what I have been called to do. I have to answer that call. It's not that God is calling me because I'm a really good speaker. It's not because God is calling me because I'm a really good leader or manager or coordinator of ministries. It's not because God has called me because I'm excellent. It's because God has called me and I must respond. And when it comes to the clericus of a diocese or a convocation or a deanery or even of a cathedral chapter, any group of clergy gathering, I want you all to think of that as of a bunch of people who simply can't not serve the church and serve the baptized and help them find out what God is asking of them, God is calling them into, God is provoking from them to be servants to the world. So it was a real blessing to be able to be with the clericus of the Diocese of New Jersey and to enjoy that journey with all of the people in that room who are folks who can't not serve the Lord in that name. And I don't want to even restrict that to those who are wearing the white collar. There were also those 
who were there, who were faithful diocesan staff, who were lay, who have a quasi role that they have been set apart in the world to serve the church in a very particular way as staff to the bishop and as support to us. Um, and on top of that, remember that the whole point we were gathering in the first place was in order to empower the folks who were baptized in the church, who are doing the hard work and the true work of the church as the body of Christ in welcoming all into a greater life in praise of God, in service to the poor and to those in need, and into mutual care and support as we continue to discern what God is calling from us. So that is my, uh, my word for the week. That is also the harbinger of all the things that are coming down the pike for St. Peter's. There is a ton of stuff that we can't not do as the people of St. Peter's. The shop is open. Sunday school is restarting. The two services in the week are kicking off again. We have programs that are starting for confirmation class because the bishop will be with us in November. Uh, we have folks that are going to be studying and learning more about the life of Christ as we form our stewardship ministry and our campaign for the fall. We're working on the reformation of a finance ministry so we can put the pieces together so that all of the gears turn for the glory of God as we serve in this particular corner of the world in Middlesex County. And above all, we want to extend a welcome to you so that you know that you're welcome home into this gathering, that you too are one who in baptism has been set apart for the work of ministry. And the challenge is, rather than thinking about that sense of the ordained and those called to ordered ministry as being people who can't not, why are you and what are you doing now to exercise your baptism? Understanding at what great cost it comes to us in the life and witness, death and resurrection of Christ, and in the great gift that is intended to flow through us to the glory of God and the kingdom. So there's your word for the week, clericus. It is not restrictive. It is all-encompassing. It is grace-filled. look forward to seeing you soon. Like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.